Hey guys, Molly from Quebec Homestead. Welcome to my farm and uh, today we are processing chickens. I'm not doing a video on how to empty the chicken and all that stuff, but my brother Julian wanted to know what kind of bags we used to bag them because we, d we just did 50 chickens this year and we figured it would be enough for the next two years because we had a little bit left over from last year and they do uh, preserve very well in these bags for two years in the, free in the freezer. So I'm just gonna show you guys what the bag is for you, Julian, and uh, how I do it. All right, so first off, before doing anything with your chickens, before putting them in the bag, you wanna make sure that they're relatively dry. So I set them down on a table on a towel here, and I will set them like up straight on their feet, and they will drain out for a good, I don't know, I'd say like 15 minutes, and then I'll come out with a towel and then dry them on top if they're still wet, and then I'll put them in the bag which looks like this, all right? So these are really uh, cool bags you can get off of Amazon. The link will be in the description below. If you're on a cell phone, there's a little little arrow right in front of the comments. You can go click there and see it. There's gonna be a link. It's my Amazon affiliate link, so if you go purchase them there, then I get a little tiny, tiny reward. And so these bags come with a rubber hose, and you put them inside the cavity of the chicken. And what that will do is when you will heat up your water between 180 and 100, 195 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, I don't know how much that is in Celsius. For you guys that are in Celsius, I'm going to put it right here. But it, what it does is it'll remove all the air from the cavity so that it'll be really airtight. So here we go. inside the chicken, give it one twist, and then we're gonna go put it in the water. The water that's beeping at us because it's, it's a weird thermometer. Five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. And you take it out. And you wanna squeeze out the extra air in there. Give it another twisty. And then put your tie wrap on, which is kind of clumsy to do when you're doing it by yourself, but it's doable. And then you take off the hose and you get a beautiful chicken that'll be perfect in your freezer. <laughs> 